Welcome to the Life in Reflection photo card tutorial. Today we're going to be working with the Barefoot photo card. This is a great card for many occasions. It can be used for a birthday, a save the date announcement, a graduation, or a birth announcement. When you're working in Photoshop, you want to make sure that you have your layers palette open. You can do that by choosing window and check mark layers. The other thing we want to make sure we have open for working with our text is the character window. Make sure that is checked marked as well. Let's start working with the front of the card and changing our text. Now what I want to point out on both of these cards is these uh, cyan lines you see around the card that border it. Those are your guidelines. All you need to do is make sure that your photo and your text are inside the guidelines. They also will not show when you print. So let's start with the text. Here you're going to add the baby's first name and middle name, which is really popular. You can also add the last name here if you'd like to be more formal. And then we're going to move on to the photo. We want to choose the photo mask here where it clearly says clip photo here. I want to make it as easy for you as I can. And then we're going to open up the photo that we're going to be using. You want to drag the photo approximately over the mask and right click create clipping mask. You can uh, move your photo up or down from here. You can also resize the photo. Let me show you what that looks like. To resize a photo, you want to press down the shift key on your keyboard if you're working with a PC and drag in the photo to make it smaller or larger to make the photo bigger. Okay, and from there, you simply choose flatten image and it's ready to go. Now, what I do want to point out is the banners on each of these cards are optional. If the banner just doesn't work for you, then don't use it. Moving on to the back of the card, one of the really cool things I want to show you too, by using a fully layered card instead of uh, like a PNG file, um, you can change the card up. If you need more than one photo, just as I showed you how to resize this photo, you can resize your clipping mask. Maybe you'd like to have multiple uh, photos on the back. You can easily resize that. Choose Control J and have another photo just like that. Um, you can also, if you're not if you're not working on a PC, you can right click and choose duplicate layer. You can name the layer anything that you want here. So let's see, clip photo two here. And then you just move it where you like it and it's ready to go. And on the back as well, optional banner. And then we have here where you add in the baby's uh, information when the baby was born and all those cute little details. All right, and I'm gonna go back to my history. We're going to open this back up. So I can go ahead and pop the photo into this one for you so you can see the completed card. Same thing, I've dragged it over. And now another option for the clipping mask is to hold the Alt key on the PC. And you see that little symbol pop up? Just click it and your photo comes right into the mask. All right, and there you have it. Flatten your image and save it as a JPEG and it's ready to print.